Welcome back to a new video, you wonderful lot. It's Project Ozone 3 and it is time to play Kappa Mode, a mode which completely bypassed me earlier in the year when it was released. Having played Project Ozone 3, the, the non-Kappa mode, the non-Titan mode, well, I thought we'd take a look while discussing some more updates on the channel and what we're going to be doing. So, let's get started with a new world, create a new world. I have set it up already, it's in the configs. There is like a packmode.config file that you can change. And I'm just going to change this to call this Kappa. And uh, more world options. Let's just change this over to Garden of Glass. Not recommended for Britannian newcomers. Ha! I laugh at these things. Seed for the world generator. Uh, let's just uh, use lowercase Kappa. Okay, and that's done. And create new world. And we're into our world with a very short, small inventory and uh, not really much to uh, to get started with. So we just get started like we would normally. Let's just take a look uh, at the quest book. So I have my case, I find it's a backslash and click quests. And then the first quest line, you may have different themes. They're, they're available over here. If you want these kind of themes, you can do. And uh, into quests and then quest lines, alpha, and uh, just click on something, you get some of these stuff, which is going to be very important to get actually started. Detect, submit, claim, and you get a bunch of stuff. There we go. And music brings back memories. Okay, and we'll get started with an oak sapling, of course, as you would normally do. If you have a Logitech keyboard, do get started by going into Logitech keyboard and going configuring two keys, one to be uh, pressing shift repeatedly every 10 milliseconds, like this. I'm actually holding the shift now. My computer is just doing this, and hopefully a tree should grow shortly, because I don't like the hold to work mechanic at all. I just prefer to press one key. The other one you're going to want is to do the same thing, but with right click. So right click every 10 milliseconds, and uh, I'll show you what that's for in just a second once this tree has decided to actually grow. Growth done, trees up, it's a large tree, that's quite good. Although uh, the other thing you're gonna want to do in this pack and many others is look for excavation in the controls. So excavation, uh, excavation, thank you. And make sure you have that set to something so you can just hold down the grav key uh, or whatever you set it to. And uh, then once that does that you should end up with all of these stuff and most of the stuff fell off here and uh, I have one sapling again more importantly however I have uh, I have lots of wood which we can just convert one to one into oak wood planks I'm going to keep a little bit of that we'll come back to that in a second which we'll convert the rest into oak wood planks yes it's one to one conversion it is a uh, kappa mode so if you haven't played a kappa mode pack before well, that's going to be interesting. Um, basically, Kappa Mode is like Expert Mode of Expert Modes. It is definitely something that you, um, well, let's just say uh, you either love them or you hate them. Hopefully you do love them, or at least you love uh, watching other people have to go through the pain of playing them. So we'll just expand this platform to be a little bit larger, and I'll come back in a second. In fact, let me just do that while I talk about the rest of the channel. So uh, the stuff that's uh, been uh, released or been uh, available uh, that I want to actually do some videos on. One is Terraria, because I haven't really done a Terraria playthrough on the channel before, and it might be uh, something that some of you are interested in. Uh, if you don't know what Terraria is, it's, uh, people often think of it as 2D Minecraft, but it really isn't. It's more like uh, a Minecraft 2D compared with, uh, well, combined with an RPG game. Uh, lots of boss battles, combat mechanics, stuff like that. It's also often compared with Star... What's the name of it? Starbound, that was the one I was trying to actually remember and uh, indeed forgot. So yes, Starbound was the one that I was uh, comparing it with and it often compared to that, but they are quite different games. Starbound is a lot more like a quest driven game. This uh, Terraria is more, uh, you know, combat open world X, uh, RPG kind of stuff. So I'm making this platform uh, at least a little bit bigger even than this and we'll get going a little bit further. So I have a little bit more to go. Um, what else do we actually want to do? Uh, Eco has a new release. If you haven't seen it, it is release nine. Uh, lots of lots of changes in that. So that's something to consider if you've uh, been used to the old way of working things. You know, the whole calories thing to, to do anything. It has changed into a, a quite a different system uh, to do that. So yeah, we need to go and check that out. Uh, and also Factorio has left early access and um, stretching the definition of early access, Factorio that is, in that it's been early in early access for a good, oh, 
Good few years. Uh, so yes, uh, early access, inverted quote marks more than anything else. Uh, I'd like a new tree, please. Can you just grow up? Oh, there we go. Cool. That's only a small one, but uh, fine. No problem. Uh, so we have got to do a few other things. One is the usual. I want a crafting bench. Uh, thank you. I'll take the Tinker's Construct because we're going to need the rest of Tinker's Construct. By the way, uh, well, I'm going to play this pack a little bit differently. Normally, I go into a lot of introductory stuff, and I will do a little bit of it, but uh, I will assume you know all the basics because, hey, it's an expert mode of expert mode packs, and you really shouldn't need to do anything else. Uh, we can just get four oak chests. That's a bit more efficient than going into, into uh, planks and then through that. So oak chests are cool. And I'm just going to dump a uh, few over here. Uh, thank you very much. Just so I've got some nice safe areas for everything in my inventory. You don't need the quest book in your inventory or anything like that. Just hit backspace uh, and whatever you've, whatever you've bound it to and uh, you'll be just fine. So now we need to get on to the other key I was talking about on uh, the Logitech keyboard. That is right click. So on this uh, particular thing, there we go. We're going to get some sticks. But we need to get some stones, and uh, stones you can get via right-clicking with shift on any piece, oh well, uh, yeah, any piece of dirt, uh, including the grass dirt. However, if you have a, a key that starts right-clicking, like mine just did, and then I hold shift, uh, at this point I'm really sort of, um, well, let's just say automating the whole generation of uh, some cobblestone. We're definitely not going to do this for long. It'll just save me a little bit of time while I get things set up. So just get about eight stacks of, uh, of these pebbles and I'll see you in a second. All right, eight stacks of pebbles we have got and we're just going to dump those and convert them over into cobblestone like this. And uh, we'll continue to do that. Then we're just going to convert those over into compressed cobblestone. Balance the, uh, split the grid. Yeah. At seven, I just need eight because to get a furnace you need eight compressed cobblestone not regular and this is a furnace so you can go you don't want to put it right on the edge and uh, i'm just gonna put it in front of it there a little bit this is the 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 resource pack from the mod pack owner and i'm not terribly impressed with it so i think i'm going to remove that i'd, I'd rather like the original textures or some high res textures either way uh, if you have any particular thoughts uh, do put them in the comments down below and with the sun going down, we're going to need to do a couple of other things quickly. I just want to get a few pieces of wood. I just get a few sticks, nothing else uh, excessive. And I want to just put some of this oak wood in there. Get a few of those converted over into charcoal, which will then get us some, um, well, as you might expect, some torches, which is going to be important. Why do I need to do, do that into odd or even numbers? So, um, yes, Factorio has hit version 1.0. That has spider trons in it basically giant spiders that you uh, make and uh, indeed control so um that's good if you're on their side i guess let me just put down some torches so everyone can see and i've just taken off the f7 mode just because uh well i didn't really like the clutter of the uh of the crosses okay so we've got uh, some light we can go through the night now and i uh, continue to get some more uh wood and then from there i'll keep on going uh while we're getting some more wood in fact uh, let me just start that off um i want to i've got seven sticks i want to get more than that let me just uh, grab some more here and uh let's just convert them over um i don't know let's convert 14 should be enough back convert those into sticks and then the sticks we're just going to convert into crooks so um that's this recipe there is a way to get them through tinker's construct i'm not going to be too concerned with them right away that's the wood age quest uh, i'm not concerned about the quest rewards either uh what i want now from this ideally is at least one if not more than one uh silkworm so um to do that uh grav key again or whatever you've set it to and uh hit the leaves with the crook we should get some silkworms. Yes, we got some silkworms. So from here, you just go want to grow and want to go and grow a large tree if you can, and right click the silkworms in place onto the tree. And away you go. You'll get a tree slowly converting over to white leaves, and you leave until all the leaves are white, and then you go from that. Uh, let's just get some a little bit more food, and uh, yeah. So I'm off to do that, and I'll see you once I've done it. And I have a fully converted tree. I'm also going to make a builder's wand of some kind. Uh, make a cobblestone one. 
Better builders ones. Yeah, we can make a diamond one too. We have one diamond, but I'm not sure if we need that diamond for something else in the cavern mode. So uh, if we want to extend this, we can rather easily with stone. And you can also make an iron one, which is going to be coming pretty soon if you want to actually do it that way. The platform's still small enough, so it doesn't really much matter. Again, crook the leaves and you're going to get some string. And of course, you're going to need to keep using the crook. It will keep uh, getting used up because these crooks are pretty awful as far as that's concerned. So just a few stacks of uh, string in terms of wool. Or that's what we're going to get it from. Uh, I'm going to put one of them over into some wool. And I'm just going to grab a couple of things. I'm just going to make a bed. And hopefully that will get me into daytime. Just so you can see things a little bit clearer. And let me just put that down. I don't know. There. Okay. And uh, down we go for some sweet dreams. Aside from getting the bed, which is rather useful, um, it, we're also going to want to use that string. And we're going to want to use it to make string meshes. I actually need a couple more, maybe. Um, so I'm just going to make another batch of those. We have enough uh, silkworms to make more if we need to. So let's just spread that grid out. And we have 14. I'm not going to need to use 14, but let's get started with that. And we're also going to make a couple of hammers. Uh, these are things we're going to get uh, some dust, things we're going to be able to generate resources from, essentially. If you were of skyblock packs, you know what we're actually going to do with this. So we're going to get some wood. Uh, we are going to get some uh, slabs, I want to say. So let's convert over um, half that. And then let's convert over half that again. Well, maybe some there. That should be enough. Yep. And then we want some sticks too, so we're going to convert those over. And yeah, just a batch of those will do. We then want some sieves. Easy enough to make, I hope. Um, what are we actually missing? We're probably missing more oak wood planks. That's five of them. I want more than that, so I'm going to convert over yet more and uh, make more of those. Um, yeah, four. That's exactly how many I actually need. So that's fine. We've got nine sieves. We've got nine. Well, we have more than that, but uh, nine string meshes. And uh, you can put them wherever you like on your platform. I'm just going to shove them over here for now. I don't want to go on the edge uh, a little bit close to the, where the tree is going to be. So I may want to extend the platform back in a second. And here we go with sieves. Let's just drop all the meshes in there. We'll be able to upgrade these to flint, then iron, then diamond, I think. Uh, so they will be coming soon. But in the meantime, we now need something to sieve. So now is where we go back to our friendly uh, cobblestone. And uh, we can compress it, I think. And then just, uh, well, we can if it follows other packs. I never remember exactly uh, what we've got in this one. So uh, let's give it a go. Uh, so I just want five of these uh, for five. And let's just... Do that. I'm not sure what's changing the texture. No one knows what's changing that texture. That's slightly annoying, has to be said. And I only have the default uh, resource pack on, so it's not the uh, Cazador's one. Uh, yep, so we get gravel. That's perfectly fine. But we're going to go all the way down to dust, I think. And uh, let's just see what we get from dust. So again, same thing applies. And of course, you can just do it to all of them with your excavation key. So don't forget to hit that when you're actually doing this, particularly if you're doing like stacks and stacks of these things, compressed dust, uh, we can drop down into dust. Now you can sieve the compressed version, it gives different things, so uh, just bear that in mind. Um, so compressed dust, uh, is these are the things we're going to get from it, so it's nitre, redstone, glowstone, blah 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 blah, and uh, we'll get that from the sieves. And then we're also going to want to do the same thing for uh, gravel, well sand, I should say, sorry, so sand. And sieves. Uh, somewhere. Mm, sieves. There we go. So sand will get us into the uh, iron ore, which is what we're looking for mainly, and lots of other things as well, and uh, different amounts with different uh, different different kinds of mesh. So you can see here, iron ore we have 100% chance. Uh, with an iron stiffened mesh, we have 100% chance. With a diamond, we have 100% chance, so it really doesn't matter early game. So head down to sand, and I'm going to get some dust, I'm going to get some gravel, and then we have all those to sieve, uh, which is why I've got a separate chest here where I'm going to put all the stuff I've sieved into it. Back in a minute. 
Oh, one other thing. If you do have that uh, right click key, uh, this is an ideal time to actually use it uh, because you can just stand here and your keyboard will happily just right click through uh, all of these. And because you have uh, an array like this, it will happily uh, do them. So uh, off they go. And uh, that's, uh, that's uh, less than a stack, but we've got some bone meal, we've got some gunpowder, good enough to go. But of course, uh, yeah, not dust and <laughs> sand. Get sand. Yes. And sieve that. When I just said get sand, I actually meant get gravel because you can't sieve um, sand in uh, sieves in this pack or this version of the pack. I can't remember if you could do that in the normal version. So you're going to want the compressed gravel. Or, in fact, can we just sieve the compressed gravel? I think you probably need a heavy sieve for that. It doesn't have any tab across the top for it anyway. So let's just get into regular form. And then back down we go with our right click macro. And that will just get us, hopefully, in a flint. We see we get uh, it's about a 12% chance of getting drops for flint. You need six to convert each of these meshes over. So obviously six of my arms, 54. So you're going to need quite a lot of gravel to get them, but you can get started by, um, by doing it this way and then convert them over one by one. It's perfectly fine to just do that. And then you'll have a few you can right click on for the next tier, which is sand, which gets you to iron. Uh, so with iron, or rather what we're heading towards, is trying to get a cobblestone generator that will get us uh, not having to right click to pick up pebbles out of the earth. We can actually just have them automatically made from a bucket of lava and water, and it's the buckets of lava and water that we have to deal with. So let me just turn that off and let me just grab a couple of these out. Uh, so uh, it's convert three over, so that's fine. And uh, there is our flint, and uh, convert it over, and we've got flint stiffened mesh. So this stuff, there we go, will then let us convert over uh, some sand. So there's our compressed sand. And that will then, as you can see, or you can see now, you can't actually sieve it on the uh, straight mesh, you have to sieve it in this. So off we go again, and I'll see you in a minute. Now we're going to want to head towards some automatic generation of stuff. Uh, in particular, I think I want a, at least a couple of barrels. So I'll make a couple here. And we're also going to want some drawers to store these in. So we're going to make the two by two drawers. Easy to remember those with uh, obviously the four chests, which is what we get here. But for oh, this is going to multiply into two by two. Fine. Those are going to be used to store uh, our wood supplies. Uh, and we'll get to those in a minute. But uh, obviously, they're just going to go in here like that. And we'll be able to upgrade them later with upgrades on the bottom. But uh, no problem there. However, we can do it automatically if we can get to some clay, which is going to go through sand, I think, and some wooden barrels, I want to say. But we do actually need some water for that. So let me just dump a couple of things in here. And then we'll have some space. Uh, do I have enough saplings to uh, do this with? Yeah, it's going to make us a little bit more dirt, which I'm going to use in a second. Uh, but we are going to need some water. Uh, how am I going to get some water? OK, same thing, but with wooden crucible instead of a wooden barrel. And we should be able to get some water, I'm going to say. Maybe, maybe. Can you give me some water? Yeah, but it looks like we can get some water out of that. That will uh, just generate just fine. We've got plenty of spare saplings, so that will generate up to a bucket once we have enough to do that. Uh, we are then going to need uh, some clay, aren't we? Yeah. OK, transferring the water over from the crucible into a barrel. We have a, basically a full barrel now. Uh, I can just store the water wherever. We just make the, the glass bottles from glass, which we've got sand already. Uh, we just want to get a little bit more uh, sand and we can just convert them over into dust. I did sieve the initial amount of that, but that should convert over to clay. It does. Clay, we can then just break on the floor or wherever. Uh, yep. And we should then get enough for a clay bucket, uh, which we can then uh, basically uh, put you in here with something that burns. And we should end up with a bucket we can use that's much better than these bottles. You can all hopefully go away. Go away, bottles. OK, and uh, that should be done. Mm, yep. OK, so this is going to be only able to carry water, not lava, or at least it will carry lava once. <laughs> so uh, we're only going to need it for once, so that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to grab some more of you, generate some more water because I'd like another bucket. And uh, we'll convert those over. Uh, get a second one, then we've got to make some lava, which means I need a crucible, uh, at least if they are compatible in this pack. 
Crucibles and fired ones are porcelain clay. Uh, whoops. Uh, porcelain clay. Give me the recipe. There it is. So one nether quartz and two clay gets us unfired porcelain. Uh, or clay and bone meal. And of course, bone meal you can get from sieving as well. So we just think you need a little bit more clay, which means I need to uh, keep on converting our saplings over into water. And then we know all the way through and we'll end up with one bucket of water and we should end up with one bucket of lava once I make the crucible. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, clay, bone meal. I only need seven of this. Oh, whoops, one too many, Never mind. Uh, to get started, that will make me a crucible, which we can then go and convert back into a fired crucible. And uh, just shove some planks in there. That will do fine. And just put it on top of any torch. It doesn't really matter which one. Everything's made out of wood. This is probably not advisable over time, but hey, we can get started uh, next to the water, I suppose. And uh, we just need some stone to put in there. Some cobblestone. There we go. That's going to convert over into lava, which we're going to then to be able to convert over. From here, we can get to a cobblestone generator, cobblestone gen, and there we go. So the recipe is just cobblestone, some uh, glass, which we've got, and a couple of buckets, and it includes the actual uh, water clay buckets and lava clay buckets. So for this one, the cobblestone generator is going to be able to push into any inventory above it or a hopper below it. And in this case, uh, I'm not quite so sure which one I actually want, so I'm just going to put it down here and then put another set of drawers above it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue generating more of this. Uh, let's just put those nine back, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to generate more water, convert into more um, clay, and use the clay to create a bonsai pot, which is uh, a new way we're just going to just basically generate all of our wood for us without having to do anything whatsoever, which is um, exactly what we want in this pack, particularly in Kappa mode, which is just so unbelievably hard uh, it makes people want to quit at some point whether that happens with me well i guess that depends whether you're watching or not uh, and whether you're actually subscribing which i should mention down below you can click on the subscribe button if you want to join and help the channel out uh, you can also click the like button but uh, we will get to that for soon enough so yep more play and i'm gonna need some more dust back in a moment again the clay's been converted into five bricks in the furnace, so we're then going to go and convert over our iron ore pieces into the iron ore clusters, or chunks, I should say, and we're going to convert those over as well. I'm going to need at least five. I'm going to just basically convert across ten, and uh, I'll have to get more wood if I need to, but uh, that should get us our first iron. The iron we're going to combine with... I uh, hope the hopper recipe hasn't changed. Has the hopper recipe changed? Um, no, it's just a chest. That's perfectly fine. And we'll use that to make a hopper. And then we need to make the hopper bonsai pot. So let's just convert that over. Here's our bricks. Uh, that's the bonsai pot. And you can put dirt in that, which is what I made that little bit of extra dirt for. Um, for oh, we already had some dirt from the start. Never mind, we've got a little bit of extra dirt now. And um, then we just need to combine that with the hopper, which we're going to make with this and a, another chest. I wonder if one of these basic drawers will actually do as a hopper um or you can just use two two logs i guess which is actually cheaper than the single recipe so maybe if that takes all of them will it take all of them let's just try it uh oak saplings please uh you we need to give me a tree thank you one tree and there is everything okay so we got five we got six that will do uh can i make a hopper with you Looks like I can. There we go. And just combine that with that with this. That gets me there. Drop this down onto any chest, any container. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll pop you in. And then just pop one of you in. And you'll see the tree grows. And when the tree finishes growing, it will drop all of its components into this, which is why we wanted two by two. We would like to collect the, uh, the apples and the sticks. Uh, obviously, just use these in uh, the furnace. You can make charcoal and mini charcoal and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that gets us going. And grow a bonsai tree is uh, advancement. There we go. So we've only got one piece of oak wood. But hey, it's automatic and I don't need to do anything, which uh, is uh, very, very pleasing. So that's that out of the way. There's one oak bucket. Is there enough lava? There is not. So I just need to fill that up. And once it's full, we can get a little piece of lava. I need to get a little bit more cobblestone. 
and it will be ready to get cobblestone generation going as well. All right, first lava, good. First episode, that's all well and good. And then we should be able to make the cobble generator from here, cobble. And I think that's everything I want to say. Yep, looks like it. So one cobblestone generator, uh, version one. We can upgrade that with, oh, in fact, how cheap is it to just get to, oh my. Uh, yeah, there goes the kappa mode. Um, you normally just wrap that with iron, but this is wrapped with blocks of iron. Wonderful. So uh, yeah, let's let's just wait until we have a little bit more iron. However, that should start generating cobble for us. It is. It's not terribly fast, but it is constant, so I don't need to do anything whatsoever. So that's automatic wood, and food, and sticks, and our saplings, uh, which of course can be converted into water. But water can be converted over into an automatic uh, sort of not automatic, um, an infinite water source quite easily, as long as the pack isn't terribly. Um, painful at this point i think it is but let's see how many saplings we've got 10 well, i should probably wait that actually has a lot more than that i'll give it a little bit of a hand uh with that in fact no i've got uh, more on me that's perfectly fine uh yep so i'll just generate a little bit couple more buckets of water uh, i need to make another bucket but you know we'll get everything going into a two by two or a one by three anything like that should do for all infinite water and from there we should be okay uh, do we have any water um Water blocks, infinite water of some kind, like a sink, maybe a sink. Sink is in the pack. It is maybe the water bucket, which is a metal water bucket. Yet yeah, the uh, the metal buckets tend to be one of those things that you don't tend to get immediately. You just think, oh, three iron. No, no, not three iron. Three iron plates. And you tend to have to make those with the various methods. Uh, crushing table sounds early, but who knows in this pack? um casting yes we've not got to tinker's construct uh, casting yet a crushing table we could get that with a hammer and this needs an anvil which needs <laughs> lots and lots of iron so on oh and, and the other stuff too like zinc so yeah that's not early oh well so that gets us that let's see if there's anything else i can do this episode before we close out and for the observant who spotted I got a bucket back out of my um, cobblestone generator, cool, I didn't have to make another one, that's all well and good, I can then, but I do actually want another one, so I, I will actually make one, just because it's handy when you're actually making, um, well, water things of, well, oops, need to actually cook that first, uh, water of any kind really, uh, so that's all going to go in here. Between the episodes I'm actually going to go and sieve a little bit more, uh, and now we have, you know, hammers we can use, we can make iron hammers if you like. Uh, I think that is probably a decently cheap upgrade. Yeah, it's just two pieces of iron ingot. But even so, these stone ones actually work pretty well, at least at the start of the game. So yeah, I'll convert these over more into the flint versions or even into the iron versions, depending on what we actually need. So there is our second clay bucket. And we're ready for our second piece of water. We need uh, some some basically area for water storage. Uh, that will do i guess if i go one by three but i kind of like i kind of like two by twos okay i'll build that in while my trees are growing i'm actually just going to finish up by looking at the quests we can do we can get the tinker's tool quest done pretty quickly you'll see those before i don't need to show those on camera i'll have them done before the next episode so you'll see when i come back but let's make a few basic tools we'll not get into anything more of the power just yet but you can see what we've done in this first half an hour of you watching is quite a few of these quests so we can just pick up uh, the item rewards uh this sort of pack uh has these raks or racks uh, basically, sometimes you get uh, item rewards, which is useful, but a lot of the time you just get the racks that you can use to actually spend on the uh, the top level uh, thing I'll show you in a second once I've claimed these. So let's just get the cobble generator out of the way. And um, there we go, some silk. That's why I wasn't che checking through the... Um, oh, we get some... Huh, okay, it gives us more string mesh. Oh, well, never mind. Um, I wasn't checking through the quests throughout the... the um, the episode because hey it doesn't matter once you get to this point you can just get the racks and uh, choose to what to spend them on later uh, iron furnace is the next upgrade and then from that to gold uh, that will just come from yeah just upgrading with iron ingots i assume the gold one is uh, the same thing um it's gold and then to diamond is it yes it is it's four diamonds for glass but we won't have four diamonds yet and uh, that goes all the way into zenith furnaces and they get extremely quickly uh, quickly processing things 
got a couple of generators going on the right hand side and then we get to other things around here uh, heading towards advanced tinkers and uh you know uh the usual stuff there so well, i didn't need to make the glass house really it would have given it to us anyway uh the juicer i will just say that uh depending on uh let's just get apple juice actually uh do we have a few apples let's just get five and combine them with the juicer we get apple juice and that tends to be a little bit better i think in terms of uh what, what it's benefits for eating it are so that's fine the rack can go in there along with everything else and let's just take a look at those rack the rewards we get so in the rewards tab you can choose to trade them in for basic loot chests uh, so basic good greater epic legendary who the heck knows what that one is and then the epilatory sword which is pretty amazing along with the various ability bottles we'll get into those later uh, however, we can trade 10 in for loot chests. I don't want to do that too often. I'll just do one for each of these um, so that we can... I'm just get uh, that rack back. Yeah, just so you can see what one example uh, reward is for each of them. Uh, so there's one loot chest. And we've got Nature Core uh, that can go away. Um, can we also get a good loot chest? That's 20. Okay. And I'm not going to go any further because obviously we're not going to be able to afford it. Elite bin, that is good as a storage thing. It has a capacity of 32,000 items. Better than uh, better than this, but um, you, not really much point at this point of the game. So yeah, um, you can get rewards like that if you want them. I think we may well either build these uh, tinkers into the floor or make a special area for them later anyway. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the episode. You've got some updates on what's coming on the channel soon and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode if you did give it a thumbs up down below you can subscribe as normal but thank you all for watching and feel free to fill in all the comments and just to the people who uh, are actually still watching at this stage yes i'm still here i did not uh, you know uh, suffer any um well uh, recent issues due to the current health issues in the world so uh yeah just a bit of a summer break see you later and uh, see you in episode two